All right, guys, we are here in a cat uh, excavator with a thumb, and we have to, we're in a like, hotel resort, it's really tight, so I had to like walk all the way back in here, get the excavator, and now we're gonna drive it out of here and load it up. So, uh, got two different camera angles here, that one and this one, and what we're gonna go ahead and do is load it up just like we do with two camera angles, and I'm gonna show you the controls and everything like that. So the key's back here. I don't know if you can see it, probably with this camera you can. We're going to let it do its cycle, start it up. Alrighty, now with excavators, there's a little, this is like a safety feature. You have to have this handle down to have any boom controls. So now that that handle's down, we have control. We can pick up on our right stick to lift the whole boom up. We can pull back on our left stick to bring the lower boom in all the way in there. Now we can use our right joystick and pull it inward and that'll curl our bucket. And there the bucket is curled. I'm actually going to leave it a little uncurled so I can have better visibility. Now it does have a blade in the back so what we can do is pick up the blade. Let me see. I think this one has a uh, has a camera. I don't remember. Yeah, there's the camera. So we can lift up on the blade, blades up. We can verify that the blade's up by spinning around. Now this, our left joystick is how you spin. So that's, that's the blade right there. I'll show you with this camera. Down and up. So blades up, spin around. Let me see which way is forward. Okay, so blades forward. So we'll drive on the blade side. And we'll just go ahead and pivot a little bit here. explain to you the boom or the driving features so this is a rubber track machine so I'm not too terribly concerned about tearing up any pavement we still have to be careful we don't want to pivot really hard but I'm all right so I'll switch to foot controls here in a second but basically all forward goes forward if you let go of one lever here so watch I'll let go of the left it starts the right track overpowers the left track and we turn to the left so we can move over to the foot controls like that. I'm actually gonna turn the idle up, which is, where's the switch? Here, right here, there's an idle up. So we're gonna idle up. And once we get out into the road, I'll put it into foot controls.
go ahead and get it prepared so I can tilt up. Guardian Angel here, resting on the tail of the trailer, just as a more advanced warning system. I didn't want someone to like plow into the back of the land all as it was parked here. How you doing, sir? Good. Good, good, good. I've never seen the hat. It was pretty interesting to watch. Oh, yeah. Looks like we got a little bit of a hydraulic leak here, so I'll have to let Quinn know that we got a hydraulic leak. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave that there for now. Let's go ahead and get some chains on it.
Yeah, I'm all about that. Like, almost like city folk being able to see this. They think it's cool. I was actually thinking that he was gonna complain about the noise or something. So that's good. I'm, I'm glad people like take an interest in this and kind of almost respect it in a sense. Eh, I'll just go straight here. So we'll go into the hook. And in this application, I'm just gonna go like that. under the hydraulic lines. We don't want to pinch those. This goes this way. We'll go hook it in the edge. Just like so. Actually on this one, I'm gonna go on top since we need to go back to this corner. See how it is on the other side. Yeah, see, that's all right. So we'll go under on that one, over on this one. Get a nice straight strap so we can feed it. It doesn't get all bound up on us. Through the strap. Feed this end through. Hook in 
onto the side of the bed, pull the strap straight and tight. Ratchet it down, doesn't have to be killer tight, just tight enough to hold the bucket down. And what I do is I roll up my strap like this. This is a low bedding trick, so take notes on this one. This one's pretty helpful. So I just roll it up. Give yourself a good like hole in the middle. Take your tail end, grab it through the hole, pull your strap through that hole. Just like that. And I usually just clamp it right here. Just like that. So, all right, let's go ahead, level the deck out. So I'll turn the remote on, tilt up, axles back. comes coming up once that back end of the deck comes up we're free to go down so I'll usually run the axles all the way back until if I'm any higher than this then I'll run it down to here once that tail end comes up but since we didn't have to go very high I'll keep it here until the axles are all the way back and then I'll lower it that way we're not putting a lot of stress on the middle of the bed So that's all the way back. Now we can tilt down. And now we're level. Go ahead and take the chain here, the tail end, and just hook it right here so it's not flopping.
guys like I said using the guardian angel as a advanced warning system it since my beacons can't be seen when the excavators on there people can see beacons now so that's good so with that being said I'll go ahead and uh, shoot you guys on the time-lapse and then I'll see you guys at the drop-off here I had to back in along all these brand new cars including this one and there's a whole lot of cars over there that was kind of uh, iffy I didn't like doing that but we had to do it to drop this thing off so I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys down with this camera angle and uh, you guys can watch me level the deck out here all right first things first we're gonna tilt up tilt it up to just above this uh, top deck run our axles forward. And what I'm doing is I'm feeling out the machine or the landall and I'm making sure that this top deck doesn't rise off the fifth wheel plate. Since this isn't a heavy very heavy load and the most of the weights up here um, resting up here then we'll be alright. As you can see the back deck drops on the ground Continue bringing the tires all the way up. And we'll bring it back down to level with the top deck. All right. All right, first things first, we'll pull the strap off. through here because I want to keep the ratchet on here so I'm just gonna attach it to the top deck all right that's free now on the straps. Or the chains on it. Slack it up. it under there but since that's an active driving lane just rest it up there that way we don't make anyone mad now this one at least is Out. 
unhook it here. Unhook it here. Got that off. Be careful. All right. Go ahead and turn the key. Let it do its cycle. All right. Start it up. Now, biggest thing to do first is raise that blade. I've been a victim of it too. I forget to raise it up. So there it is, it's up, you can feel it hit. All right, now what we can do, use our right joystick, and boom up. And then first thing you wanna do is bring that load to you because there's weight out there on the bucket, maybe not so much on this littler excavator but the farther you out are there, and then say you even had a bucket of dirt, you could tip it since we're on a load here, and I could feel the excavator gain more weight in the back as I bring it closer to me. That's something you wanna be careful of. We can go ahead and close the thumb. The thumb control is this little toggle here. You can open and close it. Anyway, we'll bring it sorta of close to us. Now, remember what I said about I like liking to offset? Go ahead and offset myself just a touch and then we can start moving now we're facing backwards now so we have to pull the levers toward us to move away down the deck
the boom there. this way and we can use this left control 
actually pivot it whatever way we want, the whole arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put it out this way. That way it's not taking up a whole bunch of room. Put it down. Curl the bucket so it's flat. Open the thumb a little bit so it's not hitting the ground. There we go. All right, we're all good. All right, so now that we are walking back, we can use our remote to level the deck out. No, so that way we're not wasting time doing that. So I'm axle back right now, running the axles back. get back there I can tilt down level the deck out completely and it's down turn the remote off and we are golden turn the high idle off PTO off put the remote back down here that's where we like to keep it and that's it so with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed that video as always like comment subscribe thank you for watching let me know in the comments what you thought about the two cameras about the time lapse about the new hyper smooth gopro 7 footage and uh, yeah just trying to bring better quality footage to you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed that thanks for watching